Hi guys, BTech here. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock bootloader and install TWRP custom recovery on your LG V50 device. After that you can install any custom ROM as you like. This is RiceDroid for LG V50. It has much more features, and LG QDAC supports on this ROM also. First let me show you the TWRP recovery. So this is TWRP custom recovery for LG V50. You can install custom ROMs, custom kernels and also change any system files using this. Before we begin if you guys can subscribe my channel and help me out, I will appreciate that a lot. Please note that I'm dividing this to two videos. This will be about unlocking the bootloader. And other one for installing TWRP. First, you will need these pre-requirements before starting this. If you have all of this, you can go ahead. Now, first, you will need your phone to boot into EDL mode. For that, plug in your device to your PC via USB cable. And then hold the power button, volume plus button and volume down button at same time for a couple of seconds. Soon as this text appear and screen goes black, Rapidly press volume up button until you hear a chime from your PC. Now in the PC open up the device manager. Here in the port section if you can see a port named Qualcomm that means you have successfully boot into EDL mode. Now remember the COM port number on your device. Mine is 19, but yours will be different. Now open up the QFill application. Select the port number on your device. Select build type as flat build. Now you will have to import this firehouse file. You can download it from link in the description. Select the storage type as UFS. Now open up tools and select partition manager. Now in Partition Manager find and backup ABLA and ABLB files respectively. This will need if you brick your device. To find these backups go to Local Disk C, Users, Your PC Username, App Data. For this you will have to enable Hidden Items first, Roaming, Qualcomm, QFill and your COM port number. Here you can find your ABLA and ABLB backups. To find which is ABLA and ABLB, you can sort the files according to date modified. Go to Properties and see the times. Older file is ABLA. Rename both files and move them to a place you won't forget. Now again find the ABLA file and replace it with custom made ABLA file. You have to download this as well. Replace the ABLB file with the same custom made ABLA file as well. Save the partition file and close the partition manager. Now press and hold power button, volume up button and volume down button for about 10 seconds to exit from EDL mode and boot into Android system. Now we have successfully installed Recovery Bootloader for LG V50. 
To boot into recovery mode, shut down your device and press and hold volume down key and plug the USB cable in. As you can see it's now boot into recovery mode. While your device in recovery mode, go to your PC's ADB folder and type CMD on address bar to open a command window on current folder. Now type these commands. As you can see my device is not detecting. If you encounter the same problem, you can follow me. If not, you can skip this part. Open up the device manager. You can see in other device section there is a device name Android with asterisk mark. We need to update this driver to function properly. Now right click on the device and select update driver. From here select Android and select Android bootloader interface. Select next. As you can see now we have successfully updated the driver. Now let's try those commands again. As you can see now the device is successfully detected. Now on the device using volume buttons you can choose unlock bootloader option. Confirm it by pressing power button. Congratulations! Now you have unlocked the bootloader on your LG V50. But please note that when you unlock your bootloader your device will be wiped and resets itself. So that's it for this video. If you want to install TWRP recovery on your device check that video here. If you find this video useful please help me by subscribing. Thank you.